Oh, here we go. <coughs> Good morning, sir. Yeah, morning, Zach. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Morning, sir. Yep, yeah. good morning. Morning, sir. Morning. <laughs> uh, Gabby, Gabby, uh, would you like to lead our morning praying? <coughs> yeah. Please lead, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Eight, uh, five minutes past. Eight, yeah. You may start later, yeah. Later, yeah. Five minutes yeah, past eight, yeah. So you wait uh, for four minutes more, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I hope, yeah, all of you already finished uh, the homework, yeah. Because we will discuss it first, yeah. <coughs> Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Kinsey. Morning, Aurora. Good morning, Mr. Samadhi. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe, yeah, uh, your parent uh, gave you a different way, yeah, <clears throat> when we face a friction, yeah. But it's okay, yeah. Later, yeah. <clears throat> it's okay, yeah. It's okay when your parent help you, yeah. But remember, yeah, in here, yeah, we uh, learn the basic, yeah. Later, after we learn all of the fraction, yeah, I will give you another way, yeah, uh, out of uh, the my pal, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe by the direct division like that, yeah. Maybe by, uh, but uh, multiplying with the crossing later in primary five, yeah. So better focus on the basic first, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, if you have any information, yeah, the, the method uh, taught by your parent, yeah, you may ask, yeah, you may compare with me. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have we will have a discussion about the way later. <clears throat> okay, two more minutes, Gabby, yeah. <clears throat> After uh, Five past ten, yeah. Uh, five past eight, yeah. You may start. <clears throat> Let the praying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prepare your homework. Yeah, we will have a discussion. Then we will continue <clears throat> the next chapter. What happened with Manuel? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Manuel. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, Gabby, yeah, you may start. Yes, I am. I am. Um... For we study, let's pray together. Please stop. <coughs> Finish. Greeting to the teacher. Good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> okay, we start just directly to the material. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you may open your workbook. Yeah, we will discuss it. But I hope uh, the time is passing. Wait, yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah. I hope you already opened your workbook, yeah. So you may uh, compare with your answer, yeah. Uh, practice one, mix number. Write a mix number for each of the following. Yeah. One hole. <coughs> one hole. Wait, yeah. <coughs> one hole. One hole. One hole. So this is three hole. <coughs> this is uh, after <coughs> divide into four section, yeah. So you have a three shaded. One, two, three. Okay, three out of four it means three per four okay, or three quarters three quarters mean three times one per four yeah three quarters yeah so this one so the answer will be <coughs> like this yeah three three per four yeah so this is still easy yeah <coughs> this one one hole this is bar modeling yeah one hole one hole this one already divide or slice into nine yeah, or one per nine. So one of this, uh, one the shaded part is one per nine. How many shaded part is four? So four per nine. Total, two whole and four per nine will be <clears throat> two, four per nine. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, what is it? one liter, yeah? The volume is one liter. This is one liter. So total is two liter, yeah? This one? Check, yeah, how many, <clears throat> wait, yeah, how many bar here? All is 10, yeah? So this is the middle. So it means five or a half, yeah? It means uh, five per ten or uh, one per two, half. So this is half, this is two whole, yeah? Total will be two and a half or two, one per two. <clears throat> Still is it right? Yeah. <clears throat> ah, this one, yeah. Some of you still have mistake, yeah, for number uh, three, yeah. Okay, yeah, now number three, A, yeah, you may uh, count first how many bar inside or between zero to one, yeah. Check like this, yeah. You have a seven, yeah. So each bar will have value one per seven or seven, yeah, using, using THS, yeah. So what happened if you put uh, <clears throat> the empty bar here? Yeah, one, two, three, four, four, yeah. So four bar, it means four times one per seven. It means four per seven. So this one will be one, four per seven. 
Yeah, compare yeah with your answer. Yeah. So this one next. I already, yeah. Right. I already changed it. Yeah, yeah. Check it again. Yeah. So this one also. Yeah. Count one, two, three, three, six, six bar. Yeah. So it will be six per seven. But you have a uh, two there as a whole number. So the answer will be two six per seven. Yeah. Two, okay. Six, yeah. Yeah, part B, yeah, part B, count again. How many bar inside or between zero to one? Check, yeah. This is three, yeah. So each of them, each of them, each bar will, will contain a value one per three. <clears throat> this one have a two as a whole number. So you have a one bar there after two, it means one per three. So you will have a two, one per three, yeah. This one, the whole number is three. Yeah. So you have how many bar? Right. One, two. Two bars. It means two per three. So the answer will be three, two per three. Yeah. And number C, count again. How many? Yeah, bar between zero to one. You have four. Okay. So this one already one whole. Yeah. And this one only one bar. It means one per four. Yeah. So add by one. So you have one, one per four, yeah. This one already has a whole number two. This one is a half from two to three. It's a half position there, yeah. Or you may say two per four, but after you make simplest form, you will have two, one per two. This one, uh, three bar after num of, uh, number three, yeah. <clears throat> so you have a three per four. Three, three per four. Yeah, using the whole number three here, there, yeah. <clears throat> whole number D. Ah, this one. Ten bar from five to six, yeah. Don't forget, it's not start with the zero, yeah, but start, uh, uh, begin with the number five, yeah, not zero. So, your whole number will have a uh, five, yeah. So, this one, two bar. Two bar out of ten. If being simplest will be two divided by two, you will have one for five. Yeah. So the answer will be five, one for five. Yeah. This um, one. Sir, yeah. The the top the two one for two. I think you're wrong. Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh the beside the C. Beside the C, this one. No, don't no, no the C, yes. Uh beside one, one per four. Yeah. One per four, yeah, correct. One per four, right? No, one. the one per two. The one per two. This one? Yes. Why mistake? Because two per um, four, right? Two two per four, right? Oh uh, yes. Yeah, and you try to make simplest this one. Divide all by two. Divide ball by two, you will have one per two. Look, this is the middle, in the middle, right? Yes. So it means a half. Oh, okay. Yeah, it means a half. Yeah. <coughs> I hope, I hope uh, uh, everybody understand, yeah? The picture, yeah? You see the picture here? If a half, you can say this is a half, yeah? Even this is two per four, it means it's still half, yeah? If you make simplest, still half. Okay, we continue. <clears throat> this one, same like this. One, two, ten, this is a five, it means half. So you may say five and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> Using the picture, yeah, not counting. If counting, you will have five, five per ten. But if you see the drawing, it's about the half. Yeah, so one to five is a half of ten. Okay, so you can directly answer five, one per two. Maybe if you count, you will have five, five per ten. But later, if you make a simplest, yeah, you will have five, one per two. Yeah, <clears throat> okay, next is one, five, seven per ten. <clears throat> okay, yeah, express each mixed number. In its simplest form, yeah. Remember to make simplest form, we have many ways, yeah. 
using bar as a picture or maybe using counting. But if using counting, you will need the biggest common factor. So you have to find the biggest common factor from two and four is two. So divide all numerator and denominator by two. So you will have one, one for two. And B, yeah. Find the biggest common factor from four and six, you will have two. So again, divide the denominator, the numerator and denominator with uh, by two, yeah. So you will have two, two per three. And so on like that, yeah. Try to find two and eight divided by two, you will have three, one for four. Yeah, six, eight divided by two. You will have five, three, four. This one, 10 and 12. Fine with uh, the biggest common factor, you will have two, same, yeah. So we have six, five for six, yeah. And this one, four and 10, also two, the biggest common factor. You will have four, two for five. Okay, yeah. This is uh, the basic, yeah. Remember, this is the basic. I hope you can develop by your own, yeah. By doing some exercise. Yeah. <clears throat> After we continue, yeah, the improper fraction. Remember, this is uh, maybe difficult enough, yeah. But remember, we're still doing with the basic, yeah. Remember the basic. <clears throat> so even your parent teach you again, but you must focus with the basic first. <clears throat> okay, review. <clears throat> Look at the following picture, yeah. This is a hole, okay? This is bar modeling. So this is a hole, yeah. So if you slice it or divide it into four parts, you will have a picture like this. Slice it, one, two, three, four. It means you have a four, yeah? A four of one per four. So each of this, yeah, if I make a one shaded part yeah, of the four here, it, the value will have a one per four. Remember, this is bar modeling, yeah? So the picture, yeah, we have a relation with the first picture as a whole. <clears throat> How about if I slice it into five parts? The picture will be like this, yeah. So <clears throat> if you have a picture like this, yeah, based on the above picture, yeah, you will have a three green shaded part, yeah? It means three or five. So the fraction, yeah, has a name, this one, three per five. Okay, remember this is a review from primary three, yeah? So we go to the next page. <clears throat> Improper fraction, yeah. This is uh, a pretend, this is a bar has a length one meter long. Okay, so keep in your mind, yeah? <clears throat> pretend this is a bar with a length one meter long, yeah? So, how about this? Uh, I slice or I divide it, yeah, this bar, yeah, into four sections. It means I cut it, yeah. So the remaining is only one shaded uh, with a color green, yeah, with a green color, yeah. So what is length? Yeah, the length will be one meter divided by four. You will have one for four meters. Okay, yeah. So how about this one? Ah, this one similar, yeah? This one similar like the first picture, yeah? Same length. It means this is the four times of one per four meters, yeah? So <clears throat> four times of one per four meter or equal four per four equal one meter, yeah? That's why the picture, the first one and the third one is same because they have the same length, okay, yeah? How about this, yeah? Remember the size of each bar is same, yeah? Look at the size, yeah, the size same. So I draw five. It means you will see five times of one per four meters, yeah? Five times of one per four meters, yeah? Or you may say five per four meters, okay? So four per four meters and five per four meters they call improper fraction. Yeah. Why improper fraction? Because if the numerator equal or higher than the denominator, it call improper fraction. Yeah. Because this one, see, yeah, 
The numerator is the, the above, yeah, and the bottom side, yeah, is the denominator, yeah. So if this four equal by four or higher than four, it means the number called improper fraction. So I hope you understand, yeah, about the improper fraction, especially the picture here as a bar modeling, yeah. Try to give a, a description for you all. What is a one per four? What is a five per four? Like that, yeah. Based on the number of the slices, yeah. <clears throat> okay, if there is no question, Sam, yeah. Sam, but I already. What? But I already do workbook page seven. I already yeah, do yeah. workbook page seven. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. <clears throat> if there is no question, we continue, yeah. Okay, now how to describe, yeah. This one. <clears throat> how to express an improper fraction, yeah. Five per four at the number line. Okay, so we focus the number line. If the picture like this, yeah. Zero, one, two, yeah. How to express a five per four at the number line. Okay, so we count. We can't remember the bar inside or between zero and one or one to two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a one of four. It means one per four. If the picture have two bar, it means two per four. If the picture inside three bar of four, it means three per four. Okay. And so on. Yeah. This one. So how to express five per four? Yeah, at the number line, you can use this description. Yeah. So the value here is five per four. Okay, it's still easy yeah, because uh, you have a same uh, bar inside as four like that, yeah? <clears throat> now, what if uh, inside here is not four? Yeah, you calculate again, yeah? To make uh, equivalent fraction later, yeah? <clears throat> but it's uh, still okay, yeah? still in the basic. If it was equal. Okay, how to express an improper fraction? Yeah, how to express five per four at the pie diagrams? Uh, like a pizza, yeah? So here, pretend this is a hole. I slice it maybe into four like this. One, two, three, four section of part. And this is called one hole, yeah? And I make, yeah, the circle here, four section before without the without the shade and I'll put a shade only one it means one per four or one out, out of four yeah so total will have one circle and one per four of circle yeah so you will have four by four <coughs> uh, plus one per four or five times of one per four of circle is equal five per four so five per four at this pi diagram, the picture like this, yeah. But sometimes it's too difficult if you have a denominator more than maybe 10, yeah, because it's hard to uh, slice the circle, yeah, with the same portion, yeah, with the same area, uh, more than 10 maybe, yeah. It's too difficult, yeah. <clears throat> so better using uh, bar modeling, yeah. Okay, next, yeah how to express an improper fraction, especially yeah, uh, as the simplest fraction. So five per four here as the simplest one. Maybe you have a equivalent with 10 per eight, maybe, maybe 15 per 12, maybe. Uh, now, yeah, all that fraction, yeah, turn into the simplest one as five per four. Uh, what does it look like? Like this, yeah. <clears throat> Pretend this is a circle and I slice it or divide it into eight section. So each of this is one per eight, yeah? So I make again and I put two slices, this one, yeah. And total will be one circle and two per eight of circle, yeah. It's so if you- Yeah, yeah, so if you have how many one per eight? 10 times, yeah? 10 times of one per eight of circle is equal 10 per eight equal five per four. So this is the simplest one, five per four, okay? So this is how to express, yeah? 
Where of five per four is the simplest fraction. Yeah. From where? From 10 per eight, of course, yeah. How about if you slice is not uh, eight? Well, maybe 16, it's up to you, yeah? Because this is the basic one, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, is there any question? Yeah. So, 5 for 4 there is the simplest from 10 for 8, yeah? <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> next. This one. How to express 5 for 4 by bar method? Okay, yeah? Uh, in previous, we already maybe see, yeah? At the review, yeah? <clears throat> but we continue again. Pretend this is... Uh, wait, Rico, please, raise. This is a full. Echo. Echo. I hope you can erase by yourself, yeah? Even I can erase. Yeah. Okay, yeah? So you have a number there. What number? Five per four. Okay, yeah? Focus to this one, the four. Okay, I, I think I changed the color first. Yeah. This one. The dominant the denominator, yeah. Please Rico. Yeah. Okay, focus on four because four is the denominator. So you must slice this uh, green into four section. Okay. Four section. Ah yeah. I try to uh, nice to you, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so you must slice it, yeah, or divide it into four because you have the no denominator is four, remember? When you draw a bar modeling, yeah, focus on the denominator first, yeah? This one, slices into four section. Yeah, so in this picture, why we have to divide it into four section? Because the denominator is four. Okay, so this is four by four, uh, or one hole they call, yeah. And because this is uh, still not enough because the, the question there is five per four, so you need one per four more. So you draw again similar, yeah, with the left side here, yeah, <clears throat> but without shade it first, yeah. And you need one for four, it means you must shade one of the four. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So one green shaded bar here, the value is one for four. So total will have four for four plus one for four is equal with five for four. So this is five for four. Yeah, describing with uh, the bar modeling. Okay, so if you have a question, maybe a uh, fraction like this, yeah. When you draw it with the uh, bar modeling, you will have a drawing like this, yeah. <clears throat> Remember, not drawing, okay, I will show you, not drawing like this, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Not like that, yeah. This is in five, not in four, yeah. <clears throat> So it will be per five, not per four again. Okay, I hope you understand. Any question? Yeah, when how to draw uh, by bar method about the fraction? Yeah, remember, yeah, four here is our clue or our reference, yeah, to make a bar. Yeah, so if you have four, yeah, you need four bar. If you have ten, it means you must uh, slice it or divide it into 10 bars. Okay, any question? No question? Really? Okay, yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's why they call it basic because it's easy. Yeah. But later if you face the question, maybe you will see this again. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, we continue. How to express five per four into the simplest form? 
Yeah, draw four equal bar twice. This one, equal bar, this is four twice. Dua kali ya, buat. Ah, this one, yeah. So, <clears throat> if we have a color this, four of them, we put, uh, we use a green color like this, this call a hole, yeah? Or one a hole, yeah? All four per four is one, ah, yeah? So the other one, you need the one shaded green, like this one, yeah? A one per four of a hole. And to make a simplest, yeah? From uh, improper to the simplest form, uh, four by four here change into one. So one plus one four is equal with one, one per four. So five per four is not the simplest yet. Yeah. The simplest uh, form for five per four is the mixed number, one, one, four. Why, why one, one per four is the simplest? Because they only use number one and four. Yeah. See, yeah, you check again. Yeah. Why why the number called simplest? Here you have a five. The highest number there is a five. How about this? The highest number only four. So it means yeah, one one per four is the simplest one because the value they use the number is lower than a five per four. Okay, so I hope you understand, yeah, but why they call simplest, yeah. Because they use a small number. Okay. They use a small number. Okay, I hope you understand, yeah. Why do the, uh, the word called simplest? Yeah. Simplest mean they use the small number. So when you compare five per four with one one per four, one one per four is the simplest one because they only the maximum number only four. But when you use five per four, it means the maximum number using five is higher than four. <clears throat> okay, I will continue. How to express seven per three into simplest form? Ah, this is a different picture, yeah, with a different equation, but in the same topic, yeah, simplest form. Okay, how we do that, yeah. Remember when you draw, yeah, seven per three, it means you need three bars. So this is one. Draw three equal bar three times. So this one, three bar, because you know, the denominator is three, right? Correct or no? <clears throat> okay, yeah. The denominator is three, so you draw three. This one, three times. Ah, now you, you use color green for this one, they call a hole, this one. Hole, one hole. This one, color again with the green, you will have two hole, yeah. One and one is two, how many shaded green? Already six, correct, right? Yeah, already six, right? But you need here seven, so you need one more, this one. So this is one per three of a whole. So total, total bar that has a green color already seven. So seven here, seven per three is similar one whole plus one whole plus one per three. So it's equal with two one per three. Okay, yeah. This is using bar modeling to make a simplest form. Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm sure you already know how to count to make simplest form, right? By counting, by dividing using the biggest common factor, yeah, can. But <clears throat> here, I try to show you, yeah, how to use bar modeling, okay? Any question? Remember, yeah, make a simplest form, you can use uh, by div dividing using the biggest common factor, right? Yeah, but to make your eyes, yeah, to see, to see what happened yeah, with this picture, yeah, you may use bar modeling, yeah. So you can prove the picture and the number also. 
Ya. If there is, if there is a question ya yeah, is in the in the workbook ya yeah, sir. Hmm. 1810 is what sir? What? How about 1810? 1810. Oh, in 10, yeah, letter, letter, yeah. In 10, yeah. This is in in one third or third. Yeah, because you have three bars. In 10 means you have a 10 bars. So letter, yeah. <clears throat> this one, yeah. So we do exercise first, yeah. <clears throat> okay, write an improper fraction for the shaded part. Remember, all oh, this uh, circle or this slice into four, right? Okay, so each of them yeah, has a value one per four. All they call quarters. So how many quarters are there? Zach, how many quarters are there, Zach? One, five. Five, good. Five quarter mean five per four. Okay, this one. Five quarters mean five per four. If you want to make a simplest fraction, you think this is one whole, right? So one, one per four. One whole and one per four. That is the simple fraction, yeah? Okay, one B, uh, one B Manuel, yeah? Fifth, yeah, it means one of the circles yeah, is divided into five sections. They call one for five or they call fifth. Yeah. So how many fifths are there? Wait, sir, I need to, oh yeah, top. How many fifths uh, are it there? Works, sir. Uh, there are. How many fifths are there? Mm. I mean, how many one per five are there? Because fifth, same with one per five. How many? Two, one for two. How many? Yeah. Two, one for two. Yeah. Jason, how many, Jason? Twelve. Hmm? Twelve. 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 Okay. Twelve feet. Okay, good. Yeah. Twelve feet. Twelve feet, it means twelve per <coughs> five. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, what is the simplest fraction? The simplest fraction, you, you see that you have a two whole between two and two per five. Yeah, easy, right? By see the picture, you can directly uh, can answer the simplest one. The simplest one is two, two per five without counting. Yeah. Remember when you drawing, it's without counting. Yeah. But if you counting, you must uh, divide it 12 by five. Yeah. Can yeah, and the rest is two. The remainder is two and and divide by five. So two per five. That is the counting. But now we just uh, see the picture. Okay, next yeah. Next yeah. Quincy, how many half are there in three? How many half? Um. How many half? Two. Really, how many half? One oh. picture, remember, one picture have a two half. How many oh. three triangles there? How many half they have? Six. Yeah, six yeah. half. Okay, yeah. So six half mean how many? The writing? What is the writing in fraction? In the fraction? What is six half? Yeah, six times a half. What does it mean? Six, six per? Six per three. Ooh, six per two, yeah. <laughs> half mean two, right? Divide by two is half, yeah. So there are six half in three, yeah. <clears throat> Remember we continue, yeah, maybe for 10 minutes, yeah. Okay, Gabby, number three. How many quarters are there in one, three, four, four? How many quarters? If one square divided or slashes into four, they call quarter. How many quarter in this two picture? How many quarter? 